Here we go. I think this is the trouble. Hold still, little red tractor. If I loosen the alternator and shift it down... That's got it. I think we'd better get down to the garage and get a new fan belt, just in case. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Hello, Mr Jones. Morning. That's well timed. I'm ready to get started on Big Blue straight away. Marvellous. Oh, and don't forget, Nicola, after the service, he needs a jolly good spruce up. No problem. Needs to look tip-top so I can get the best price possible. Best price? Eh, you're not thinking of selling him, are you? Precisely. I'm getting a new one. What? You can't. I can. Now, looky here. It's the latest model, the 501. And Big Blue's a great tractor. And he's more than just a tractor. He's part of our community. It's the 501. It's like selling a friend. What if we sold you, Mr Jones? We wouldn't get much. Oh, I should have guessed you wouldn't understand. I mean, just look at this place. It's avoided progress for years. Now, hold on. You have to move with the times. And talking about moving, I must get on. I say, any chance of a lift home? Hmm? Hello, Mr Jones. Where's Big Blue? Hello, Stan. No, he's at the garage, getting a spruce up ready for tomorrow. It's all rather exciting, actually. Why, what's happening to Big Blue tomorrow? Getting rid. <sighs> You're getting rid of Big Blue? Yes. Look. It's the latest model, the 501. But Big Blue's a good tractor. He's almost new. Oh, never mind. I should have realised, given the age of your old tractor, that you wouldn't understand. Look, I'm in a bit of a rush, and... Any chance of a lift? No? Don't worry, big guy. We won't let him sell you. Hello, you two. Hi. I guess you've heard the news. We can't let him do it, Stan. I know, but Big Blue is Mr Jones's tractor after all. If only we could make Mr Jones realise what a special tractor he's got. That's it. Walter, you're a genius. I've been telling you that for years. <laughs> I've got a plan, but we're going to need everyone's help. Are you in? Yep. You betcha. What's the plan, Stan? Walter. You need to hide Sparky, then hide yourself. We'll pretend you're out on a job. Hmm. Look, thanks for coming, Stumpy. There's not much I can do on my own without Big Blue. Where is he today? Um, he's... I don't want to make Stumpy mad at me, too. I need his help. Um, well, he's on holiday. Holiday? Yes, um, a tractor holiday with other tractors. Oh, it's all right for some. <laughs> right, what do you want doing? Ah-ha-ha! Right, um, thought we'd start with the ploughing. I reckon this will be the perfect spot to put our plan into action. It should be nice and safe. Hardly anyone comes up here anymore. Hmm. That log may be a bit too heavy. Well, OK, let's give it a go. It will certainly be more of a challenge when Big Blue gets here. That should do it, Stumpy. Right, yo. Chop, chop. Oh, it's no good. It's not budging. I do believe Big Blue would have had half the field ploughed by now. Hmm. Well, I guess you won't be needing our help anymore then. So we'll get off home and. Uh, no, 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 no. Of course I need your help. I know. What if we raise the plough? That way it won't be dragging along the ground. Oh, good idea. There. Uh, Mr. Jones? Yes? Don't think that's helped. <sighs> no. Here we go. A brand new air filter. Right, I'm off to put my part of the plane into action. Off to hide Sparky. What a plane! Oh, don't worry. Stan's plans never fail. There we go. OK, little red tractor. Get ready. Now, heave! Go 
Come on, little red tractor. Well done. Great job. All we have to do now is get Mr. Jones. Uh, uh, I'm not sure this is such a great idea. Of course it is. If we move the damp bales from the bottom out into the sunshine, they will dry out in no time at all. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> Good job, Nipper. <laughs> Stronger than you look. <clears throat> <clears throat> I guess you were right, Stumpy. Not such a great idea. Should I ask? Best not. Can someone please get me out of here? No problem. Little Red Tractor and I will have you out of there in no time. Oh, Mr Jones, I need your help. There's a tree blocking the track through Tawny Owl Wood. We tried to move it, but Little Red Tractor's not strong enough. I'm sure Big Blue wouldn't have had a problem shifting it. Well, I was hoping the two of you would be able to clear the track. I mean, if there was an emergency and someone wanted to get through... Of course, in an emergency, no one could get through. There's no time to lose. Exactly. I'll get Big Blue. Don't worry. We'll save the day. What? I thought Big Blue was on holiday. Holiday? Yeah, a tractor holiday with other tractors. Come on, let's get you out of there. I think you must have bumped your head. Nicola! <laughs> Need Big Blue immediately. It's emergency. Emergency? Yes, emergency. Big Blue and I. Only ones who can come to the rescue. Really? Uh huh. Stan's little tractor's too feeble. Uh. Oh? Well, I've just finished. Look, he's ready to go. Marvelous. Come on, Big Blue. Good luck. Cheerio. -ho! Looks like Stan's plan started to work. Nice and easy, little red tractor. Oh. 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 oh, thanks, Stan. Any time. And thank you too, little red tractor. We're going to see how Mr Jones is getting on. Are you coming? Oh, oh no. <laughs> I've had quite enough excitement for one day. Here we go. That's it, Mr Jones. You can do it. Of course we can. Come on, Big Blue. Well done, us! Did you see that, Stan? Good job. That was a very heavy log. Oh, it was a breeze. Big Blue is so strong, and with me at the wheel, <laughs> what a team. Hmm, it's too bad you're getting rid of him. Oh, no. Change of plan, you see. Can't break up the winning team, can we? And the 501? Well, I think that everyone was right. Big Blue is more than just a tractor. I don't expect you to understand, but, um, well, I've really become very fond of him. You mean he's more like a friend than just a tractor? Exactly. That's it. A friend. Oh, I understand, all right. I'm sure I don't know where I'd be without my friend, Little Red Tractor. The leaves turn a lovely colour in the autumn, but they don't half make a job for me to clear them up. Hello, Little Red Tractor. Hi, Stan. Hello, you two. Are you a Little Red Tractor doing anything when you've finished? We've got nothing planned. Oh. <laughs> oh, Patch. Poor old Patch. When he was a youngster, he'd have been off chasing that leaf like a mad thing. He used to love chasing leaves. These days he can't be bothered. How do you two fancy a bit of a chase? What? Like tag, you mean? You're on. A bit better than tag. You're it. A paper chase. A paper chase? I said you're... What's a paper chase? It's like a sort of treasure hunt. Someone leaves a trail of paper and then everyone follows it. 
And when they catch up with the person who's left the paper trail, they get a surprise. That sounds brilliant. What's a surprise? Well, if I told you that, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? So, do you fancy a paper chase? Cool, yeah. You bet. I think Little Red Tractor and I had better leave the paper trail. <laughs> and perhaps we could do with a few more chasers. Shall we go and see if Thomas and Leo are around? Yeah, let's. Now, it's just a quick trip to Babblebrook, Thomas. There'll be no stopping for sweets and ice cream and whatnot. No, Uncle Jasper. Straight there and straight back. I need to get these leaves cleared up. Yes, Uncle Jasper. Ah, Stan. Sorry, can't stop. I'm just off to Babblebrook. I hadn't actually come to see you. But if you haven't come to see me, what are you doing here? Mr Jones, can Thomas come and play? Of course he can. Off you pop, Thomas. I... <laughs> I, I mean, um, off you go, if you want to. See you later, Uncle Jasper. Yes. <laughs> See you later. There. <laughs> just tighten that down and there. That will do it. Shouldn't you tighten that plug a bit? <laughs> Sounds like Walter's here anyway. I said that plug needed tightening. Yeah, I... Uh... Oh. Hello, you lot. We're going to go on a paper chase, and we thought Leo might want to come too. Oh, yeah. A paper chase? Woo woo! I've not been on a paper chase since, um, well, since, uh, since. I've never been on a paper chase. Well, now's your chance, Walter. How about joining us? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Blooming leaves. Same thing every autumn. Turn brown, drop off the trees, and then Elsie gets me sweeping them all up. <sighs> Hello, there, Stumpy. Elsie got you hard at it, I see. <laughs> yeah, I've been sweeping for ages and the wind keeps blowing my pile about. Oh, well, there are easier ways of dealing with leaves than sweeping them, you know. Cheerio! Like what? Oh! Right, count to a hundred. That'll give us a head start, OK? Yeah! Okay. Yes, yeah. And make sure you collect all the paper on the way. We don't want to leave litter all over the place. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. <laughs> no more back-breaking, leaf-sweeping misery for me. Not with this little beauty. 94, 95, 96... 79, 100. Let's go! Yay! Here we go. Sounds like Mr. Jones has got a new toy. Hello, Mr. Jones. Ah, ah, works like a dream. I'll have the old place cleared in no time. Oh, look at that. Little bugs get everywhere. Still, I expect this little beauty works on paper just as well as leaves. This way, here's another piece. I think they should have left at the road. There. A job well done. The trail seems to stop here. So which way did they go? Maybe Stan ran out of paper. Or maybe they went this way. Yeah, look. Tractor tyre marks. Maybe Stan was just making it a little bit more tricky for us. <laughs> Wait till we catch up with him. Come on! There. Now all we have to do is wait for the chasers to catch us and then we can give them their surprise. I'll go and get the barbecue out. We can have a party. Are you sure they came this way? Well, no, but we've come in a pretty straight line. Stan wouldn't change course without leaving something for us to follow. No sign of any paper? Nah, not a sausage. Here. I could do with a sausage. I'm getting a bit peckish, I am. <laughs> so we carry straight on, then? Suppose so. Hmm. It's getting late. I'd have thought they'd have been here by now. Evening, Stan. Nice day for it. Barbecue. That we were having. <clears throat> Good. Like a barbecue. Nice baked potato. In foil. <clears throat> Burgers, too, and a sausage. Kids here. Ryan, Amy. Time to get them home. Uh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, uh, no. They're not. I mean, they should be, though. Not here. Oh, I thought they were. I thought you were keeping an eye on them. We went on a paper chase. They should have been back by now, but don't worry, Mr Turvey. Walter's with them. 
I'm sure they're safe wherever they are. <coughs> Walter, eh? Good bloke. They'll be all right with him. <sighs> Any chance of a bite to eat while we're waiting? Potato or something? Well, I should... Hello. <coughs> Have fun with the nippers, did you? Uh... Quite glad to get Thomas out from under my feet for five minutes. I was able to get all my leaves cleared up. Got a pretty nifty new machine for the job. Ah, oh, so that's what I heard. It doesn't just work on leaves. Why, some thoughtless idiot had left a load of paper outside Beach Farm. It would have taken me ages to clean it all up if it hadn't been for my new leaf vacuum. Oh, no. What? What is it? You got rid of the paper? Well, yes. Don't want a load of litter outside my farm. What would people think? Oh, Mr. Jones... That was a paper trail. We were having a paper chase. The kids were picking it all up. Ooh, no paper, no kids. We'd better go and look for them. Still no sign of any paper. No. Uh, and you'll know where we are? Tawny Owl Wood, of course. I know it's Tawny Owl Wood, but where in Tawny Owl Wood? We're lost. We're not lost. You see, we came in over there. Uh, no, um, over there. No. No, that's not right. That's, um, the, um... We're lost. They could be any... Hang on. Over there. It looks like they went that way. The trail will have gone cold here after Mr Jones cleared up all the paper. Maybe they thought those tracks were yours, little red tractor. OK, kids, here's what we'll do. It's too dark to carry on now, so we just have to make ourselves comfortable here. And then, in the morning, I'll climb a tree and try to find out just where we are. And I'll tell you what, we'll sing a song to keep our spirits up, all right? A well, a well, a well, a ay, mama luba, a ding a dang a doodle. Goodbye, my little eye, something beginning with T. Twig? No tree. So, no singing then? Trousers! No. I wonder. Could they have gone into the wood? Well, if they have, it'll be hard to find them. But maybe they could find us if we make a bit of noise. Hello there! Walter! Amy! Ryan! Uh, 10p? T no! T um, T tractor! Tractor? Huh? I can't see a tractor. No! I meant I think I heard one. This is a tractor. I think it's coming from over there. OK, let's all join hands. We don't want anyone getting lost. But we are lost. Not anymore. Little Red Tractor's found us. Stan, <laughs> you found us. Hey, <laughs> good to see you, Stan. But what happened to the paper trail? Mr Jones might be able to help you with that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> This was a surprise worth waiting for, Stan. I'm starving. Well, I'm glad that everything worked out in the end. Thanks to you and Literary Tractor. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> That's it, Stan. We'll have that one over here. Huh? Right you are, Mr Jones. <laughs> hey, looks like Little Red Tractor's looking forward to this concert of yours. Just glad to be able to do my bit for the village, Stan. Uh-huh. Probably get your picture in the paper, too. What exactly are you going to do with the money from the ticket sales? Yes, um, well, I... <laughs> well, come along, Stan. That stuff's not going to climb on stage by itself, is it? Excuse me, Stan. Um, hello? Well, I... But I, I mean... Now, now hold on. You listen to me. He hello? Hello? Oh, this is a disaster. Bad news. They're pulling out. Heavy chicken say they can't play my concert after all. Oh, dear. All that hard work for nothing. Oh, that lovely money gone. Well, I suppose I'd better start getting the gear back into Little Red Tractor's trailer. <laughs> Hang on. You've heard Walter and his band. I bet they'd love to do the concert for you. Well, they're not exactly in the same league as Heavy Chicken, are they? Well, I reckon just as many people round here would like to come and hear them play. Well, uh, well, all right, Stan. Let's see what Walter has to say. Hello, Stan. Hello, little red tractor. Hi, Nicola. Is Walter about? Haha, <laughs> I think that answers my question. He found an old generator at the scrapyard and he's trying to get it going. Not having much luck, though. No. 
think the engine's at it. Uh, Walter, how would you and Nicola fancy doing a concert? You what? Mr Jones was going to put on a concert in his barn. Yeah, I know. Heavy Chicken. I've been looking forward to that. Yes, well, Heavy Chicken have let him down. I said you might be willing to take their place. Me? Us? Oh, that, that'd be great, Stan. Oh, yeah, Rocky Water and the Wolverines are gonna gig again. Does Stumpy know? Not yet. I thought I'd ask you first. But we'll go and ask him right now. Oh, and I tell you what, I hear Mr Turvey's quite handy with a keyboard. Shall I ask him too? You betcha! Hmm, no. I wonder if this goes in... <laughs> Uh, Mr. Jones? Mr. Jones? Ah! <laughs> I didn't hear you there! The, the noise from the speakers! Skip Shutter from High Magazine. Sorry! I said I'm from High Magazine. I've come to take some pictures. Pictures? Of me? Of course! And you could even take one or two of the concert. Yes. So perhaps we could start with a few pictures of the barn before the crowds arrive. Yes, yes, of course, Mr. Shutter. Snap away! Well, let's hope Stumpy's at... Wow! Stumpy, are you all right? <laughs> Never better. Well, that's a relief, because you're needed at Mr Jones's concert. Me? Uh, but, Come uh... on, let's put Nipper back on his wheels and I'll tell you all about it. So, uh, what time will the band be arriving, Mr. Jones? The, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the band you're saying? That's right, the band. The band that's coming to play a concert here. Oh, that band. <laughs> yes. They'll be here any moment, I should think. <laughs> Perhaps some pictures of the farm while we're waiting? Uh, yes, all right, then. Dad's going to be a rock star. Yeah! Come on, Stan, let's get rehearsing. What are we waiting for? Uh, your keyboards. Oh, yes. <laughs> what a bit carried away. Just exactly when do you expect the band to arrive, Mr Jones? No, not for a while yet. Um, um, oh, hang on, this looks like a band. This way, over here. Give me mean and moody. Give me... They are there. No one. This way, Mr. Shutter. No one. Well, I think this concert is going to be quite a success, Tim. Except. Except what, Mr. Jones? I've got a photographer from High Magazine here. I think he might be a little disappointed when he finds out Heavy Chicken have cancelled. Oh, I think he'll be fine when he hears Rockin' Walter and the Wolverines. <laughs> Sounds like Little Red Tractor thinks so, too. Yes. Stan, isn't it about time Little Red Tractor went back to Gosling Farm? There won't be room for him here in the barn when the concert starts. What? You mean... That's right, Stan. Now, if you could move him, chop, chop. Come on, Little Red Tractor. Better get you home. And Dad's playing in the band. Yep. Right, Mr. Jones, time for a few shots of the band. Ah, yes. I'd be meaning to tell you that, um, that, uh, that, that I'd like a couple of pictures of me with my tractor. Local farmer rocks the village sort of thing. Excuse me. Thomas? Thomas! Yes, Uncle Jasper? Could you mind the ticket office for me for a little while? OK. Nervous? Who, me? Nervous? <clears throat> Never. Okay. A one, two, a one, two. You clap your hands, you stomp your feet, you turn the key and you feel that motor beat. I'm a garage man, I got petrol in. Right, Mr. Shutter, snap away. Back a bit, Mr. Jones, back a bit. Uh, a bit further, just a bit. Garage. The, the electricity! Who put, who put the lights out? What's Who's going on? the lights in? I'm sure Mr Jones didn't mean to be rude, Little Red Tractor. Walter? Nicola? I thought... I mean, aren't you supposed to be on stage? Yeah, we were. Mr Jones and Big Blue cut off the electricity supply. 
It won't be reconnected for ages. So he asked us to come and ask you to come and collect the equipment. We won't be needing it now. Oh, but that's just terrible. And you were sounding really good, too. Yeah. That noise he's making, it sounds like... like that old generator of yours, Dad. The generator, of course. That'd give us enough power for the concert. Nah, it's no good. I tried earlier. It's not working. Well, we can have another go at fixing it, can't we? OK, let's see if that does anything. See? Like I said, it's not working. I think there is a way to get this to pump out some power. That's it. A couple more inches. Now to couple little red tractor to the generator. Right, all done here. And all done here. OK, little red tractor, let's get ready to rock. Scare! Water! What? What's going on? The electricity! Well, looks like your concert's going to go on after all, Mr Jones. Stan and little red tractor have fixed my old generator. Lovely. One more, please. And, and another. Uh, this time in profile, if you... Hang on. You're not Heavy Chicken. No, mate. We're rocking water and the Wolverines. Heavy Chicken cancelled. I'm sorry. I didn't tell you because I... Well... Oh, but this is wonderful. Yes, I know. I should have told you before, but... Uh, wonderful? <gasps> Much better story. Local band fills in at the last moment. The show must go on sort of thing. Uh, Mr Wolverine, if you wouldn't mind. Mind what? Uh, get playing. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Rocking Walter and the Wolverines. Yeah, great to be here. And we'd like to kick off tonight's show with a song for someone without whom none of this would have been possible. Little Red Tractor, he's king of the field. And his job's done with Stan at the wheel. He's not the biggest, but he's a hero. Little Red Tractor, Woo! 